Sunday, I always have Sunday just as I label, even with all my clients, it's called restorative day. That can be whatever that you want. Like uh, that, that can look in the shape of sauna and ice. That can look in the shape of going for a walk or bike ride. That can, be, that can look like sitting on the couch all freaking day. Like it's just restorative, whatever you feel called to do. Um, my current block is built, and this is similar how I would create a, a, a my mobile fast program. Is I, there's, So I have two development days, two stimulation days, and two recovery days. And those are going to take shape in different forms. That's not quite what I'm doing now, but that's what I have programmed for my clients right now. But I do have two development days. And two development days are built around running. So I have a track workout and a I just went for a run, a tempo run. Actually, I'm just doing zone two the whole run um, because the competition is tomorrow. But typically, it's a tempo run. Um, and I'm slowly building on that. And that's another just context for everyone. Like people tend to change up the programming too much. One, they tend to, they tend to increase volume way too quick as well. Like our body does not need much to adapt. Like it does not. Like you can, you can press do a chest press, like literally 50% less than whatever weight that you think you want to do and still get growth if you consistently do it. Like it's just, the, the, and obviously you can play with different tempos and time and retention and things of that nature. But again, we always want to go past that line. I always look at that line, the anaerobic threshold for running, or it's the same thing with training too. We just want to push over. When if you just flirt with that threshold a little bit more and, and play with that and understood that, you would grow a lot more efficiently. So those two days, and then I am... Yeah, I think the other four days are kind of a full body mix of everything, full uh, of mobility and, and strength. Um, but if I was to look at how I categorize my, pro I want to, I want to reverse engineer strength, fast and pain free in all of my programs. One just has a heavier focus, like I said, on intensity. The other two are more maintaining. Mm. And I always want to have, like, I had this one mobility day that is one of my favorite workouts to do and program for people, and that is consistent across every program. You're always going to do this this mobility day. And then usually there's a, another one on top of that, depending on what the focus is at that time. But but I, I will say, so there's des designated days of mobility. And when people hear mobility, they're thinking yoga, you know, I'm doing a little prep work. Nah, that's not what these are. These, these are still loaded movements that you're going through. You're getting still stimulation and you can build strength here, um, especially if you're entering new new domains of where range of motion. And then you're still doing mobility prep on the actual strength days or even on my running, my track days. I'm doing some type of prep work to get my body in the right position to perform that day.